Without question, the founding fathers of our country were brilliant. Do you think that our political representatives of today could come together to construct a document anything like the Declaration? I doubt it. They're too busy working backroom deals and voting for thousand page bills that they haven't even read. So what helped to form the brilliant minds of the founders? The long hours they spent in the public classroom as children? Not likely. Almost all of them were mentored at home or by tutors or relatives. Yes, homeschooling in the 1700s. But before you get too excited and raise a banner for homeschooling, more than half of the signers had college degrees. And guess what the entrance exam was to most colleges? You had to be able to speak Latin and read the New Testament in Greek. So Latin, Greek, and the Bible. It's a shame, but all three of those have been eliminated from the majority of today's secondary schools. We think that we're so advanced these days, maybe technologically, but intellectually, society is struggling. Our children are being mentored by MTV instead of the classical writings of the Greek philosophers. They learn to discuss and debate subjects through violent video games instead of disputations in Latin. And they learn their morals from Hollywood celebrities instead of the Bible. You know, it's been a gradual dumbing down of society. If a historian from the future looked at our politicians of today, they'd wonder how we ever wrote the Declaration of Independence. So what can we as Christians do? The Latin and Greek might be a little tough for some of you at home, but what we can all take advantage of is the third component, the Bible. The Word of God was a major inspiration to our founders, and you need to make it the most important tool in your life as well. Thanks for joining us on We the People.